How did the Mavic 2 Pro change my perspective? Let's talk about drone photography. I just left the freeway because I'm heading out to a little town about 21 miles outside of Berlin today. There's a house and a property and it's for sale. And a friend of mine who owns the property asked me if I would take some drone pictures. We actually did that in the summer uh, when everything was uh, beautiful and the garden was green and the flowers were blooming. And now we have uh, February and in Berlin there are seasons and it's zero degrees outside. There are no leaves on the trees right now. So um, my friend asked me if I could take some drone pictures again that represents the winter. So I thought I'm going to use that uh, trip to talk a little bit about drone photography because we rarely talk about photography. We mostly talk about drone videos. So I might have some tips for you to, that help you use your drone as a photo camera. So let's do it. Just arrived at the property. Looks amazing, but um, of course it hasn't been cleaned for a while. So to make beautiful winter pictures, I'm gonna get rid of all the leaves first. So now I actually made it. It took me a few hours actually. So first tip, come better prepared if you do a drone shoot with a house. Now let's set it up. Gonna turn on the drone. First we're gonna talk about some settings. So my camera settings, I turn on the grid lines. It helps me with my composing. I'm going um, three to two. Aspect ratio, I'm doing raw photography. We can do JPEG and raw. Maybe we do that, it's fun. White balance, I'm not touching um, because it doesn't matter when I'm shooting raw. So I don't need any style and so that's all, like, that's all we need to do. And then the ISO manually set to 100. <laughs> So, see the cleaning helped a little bit. It's my first picture. The drone is something that changes your perspective because you can go high up, which we cannot do as normal human beings. Always um, remembering the film Dead Poet Society with, where they're gonna, where Robin Williams steps on the table and says, oh, captain, my captain. And he wants to see the life from another perspective and so that's what we're doing with a drone. Actually, from a cinematic point of view, I totally like when we're not too high um, because then the background shifts if you do, if you move sideways, it's, that looks so cool. But we don't want to do video, we don't want to do photos. So now we have the advantage, the sun is setting and we have the sun beautifully in the background if we move over here now. And now you can beautifully see the sun setting in the background. Go a little bit lower, a little bit further back. Yes, that looks beautiful. 
Now we move a little bit closer. And I just want to go down a little bit more. So now we're having a little bit uh, problem that we only have shadow. So we go up. Maybe we go on the other side of the house. And this is nice. The sun from the side now. And then what is always very cool is um, the Google Earth view, I call it. So we're going to go high. The camera down. Okay, I'm in the picture now, but I think nobody cares. Higher. We're now 45 meters. In Germany, we are allowed to go up until about 120 meters, but we don't need that to see the whole property. Because now I want to do that Google Earth shot. And thanks to the tree, all my hard work is not visible. <laughs> now we're going to do a few pictures of the garden. From angles we usually would not be able to see when we are going with a, the regular camera. So we're going to come down a little bit more. Making a picture of our clean road. So this actually is a beautiful situation here. We have this lantern in the foreground. And now we see the grid lines are helping us to compose the better picture. Cool. This video was a little bit different than I uh, initially planned it, but I still hope you learned something about drone photography and uh, maybe a little bit about gardening. So if you liked it, please like and consider subscribing and uh, stay curious. I see you in the next video.